Hi, great to have you back. Please like and subscribe at the bottom of the video to show that you're a part of this online community. We're gonna continue with our series on, on love. Let's get started. Bye. Luke is a cricket player and he's really quite good. He started playing when he was just three years old and the bat was even bigger than he was. Everyone in the family had to take a turn to play with him. <laughs> One of them had to throw the ball so that he could practice his batting and because he was convinced that a good cricket player had to be an all-rounder, he also had to have someone bat so he could practice his bowling. He did better and better each month and eventually he played two years above his age group. His team, his team started liking him more and more. Initially, he batted eighth and then sixth and then fourth. And after a year, he was the opening batsman. He got a lot of runs, but every time he was bowled or caught out just a few runs before he got his big 100th century. Oh, but it didn't matter too much because on average, he had more than enough runs to make sure that the team was very happy with him. But one day, one of the team members became sick. The team then had to scramble to find another suitable batsman for the match to bat third. They then asked Devet, who usually batted seventh. He, he hadn't had a lot of playing time and his average runs for the season were only 12. The first batsman, who started with Luke, was unfortunately out after 34 runs. Luke and Devet then started playing together. The balls were quick and very precise. Devet struggled, but every now and then he could hit the ball and he could at least make a run. It was going really slowly. It was Luke's turn to bat and he hit two fours and a six. It was amazing and everyone was cheering. He then ran for two runs and then for another one. His runs added up so quickly. Then it was Devet's turn again. He hit the ball and he was so excited that he didn't notice that there was a fielder standing very close by. He started running. Luke saw that that was a bad call. The ball was almost back. He saw Devet's face, excitement and joy and hope that he wouldn't disappoint his team. And at that moment, Luke decided to start running, knowing that it will then be him who will be run out. The ball came and indeed, Luke was out at 99 runs. Everyone looked at Luke. Their hearts were breaking for him. They couldn't understand why Luke ran. Luke patted the vet on his back and gave him some tips as he started walking off the field. He shook his hand and as he walked off the field, his face was filled with peace. Yes, he had given something amazing of himself. But in this moment, he also experienced something of God's love for him and he experienced God's love working through him. Love is not just something you feel, it's something you do. Luke is driven by love and it asks him to offer something up, to give something. David experiences what it means to, to, to love and that love is generous. You can give a card or a gift but you can also give in another way. Sometimes it's your time, your attention. Sometimes it's the place of recognition that would have been yours. And in the process, you feel something of God's love for you and God's love working through you. What is love leading you to now? What can you give? Remember last week, we read about the Samaritan woman? We are going to continue with that story, but there's also a part in Philippians that we want to add today. In your lives, you must think and act like Christ Jesus. Christ himself was like God in everything. He was equal with God, but he did not think that being equal with God was something to be held on to. He gave up his place with God and made himself nothing. He was born as a man and became like a servant. And when he was living like a man, he humbled himself and was fully obedient to God. He obeyed even when that caused his death, death on the cross. So God raised Christ to the highest place. God made him 
made the name of Christ greater than every other name. Jesus is the best example of love. Think about how he met the woman at the well. Can you imagine just how the Samaritan woman felt when Jesus spent time with her? I think she might have felt a bit uncomfortable at first and wondered what was going on. Maybe she relaxed afterwards and realized how special it is to, to talk to Jesus like that. Now in this conversation, Jesus gives his time and attention. In Philippians 2, it says that Jesus gave up everything to be human and to live among us. That's love. He is giving the Samaritan woman more than a physical gift. He is giving her a life with him. He gives her his friendship himself. Where in your life can you give something of yourself to show what this type of life looks like? Luke realized on the cricket field what it would mean to, to De Vette, not to be out at that moment. He offers his, his first hundred and, and gives De Vette the chance to achieve something. God also invites us to actively love and, and give where, where we can and when we can. One never has too little to give. It can be, of course, a gift, but it also can be your friendship, your time and your energy. Maybe you can give something of yourself to, to your parents by making an appointment with them and uh, just checking in how they're doing. Maybe you could offer some of your time to, to help someone with maths. Maybe you can encourage someone uh, talking to that person rather than walking away. Maybe you can get involved through an outreach. Ask Jesus what you can give of yourself to show love to others. He is the best example ever.
My friends, let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you so much that we can be here today and to talk about love and, and know that you are the perfect example and that you also help us to, to, to love others. Help each friend and, and show each of us uh, ways, new ways to, to, to be there for others and love others and, and care, care for others. Thank you so much that we can be a community and, and that we belong to you, Jesus. Thank you so much for each friend. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Enjoy your day. Bye.